Meningiomas are a benign tumor, meaning that they're not a brain cancer. Although they're benign in nature, they can cause very significant problems in the brain. By causing pressure and injury to the underlying brain, they can result in long-term or even permanent disability or brain injury. The symptoms that people with this sort of tumor may have include weakness, numbness, imbalance, headaches, can have troubles with their vision, hearing, or swallowing. So there's a very wide range of symptoms that can manifest as a result of this sort of tumor. The other issue that can arise from them is that people can develop seizures as a result of the irritation of the brain from the tumor itself. The cause of these tumors is most commonly a sporadic event, meaning that they're essentially random, that some people just develop a growth of this tissue at the surface of their brain. There are much less common cases where this could be related to a genetic abnormality or predisposition that people have of neurofibromatosis that is one of the more common genetic causes of it. The other cause that we sometimes see is people who've had extensive radiation treatments either to the head or hair or for various other reasons that can predispose them to having these growths. The treatment options for meningiomas include observation for small, incidental, and asymptomatic tumors, which would include serial MRI scans to ensure that the tumor is not growing, and regular follow-up to ensure that symptoms aren't developing from it. In cases where there are symptoms or the patient wishes to have the tumor treated, then the treatment options are twofold. That includes stereotactic radio surgery using the gamma knife surgery platform or open surgical resection of the tumors. Typically, in smaller asymptomatic lesions, we would prefer the gamma knife treatment. In most other larger lesions that are causing symptoms, the surgical resection is often the best method.